Jerry Henshaw allegedly killed 17 year old Marquis Smith outside of a cemetery on Plants Lane. Henshaw is now charged with murder as well as evidence tampering in the case. 23 year old Jerry Lane Henshaw Jr. was known locally as a source for various drugs. He usually limited his own use to certain periods when he had excess money, especially after a run in with the police. On February 5th, 2019, Henshaw agreed to meet 17-year-old Marquis Dequan Smith, also known as Little Red, at a nearby cemetery to make a sale. Smith had stolen drugs from Henshaw before, and Henshaw wasn't about to let it happen a second time. He carried one of his father's guns with him, most likely only meaning to intimidate Smith. The confrontation turned ugly, and Henshaw ended up shooting Smith multiple times, killing him. He then made a poor effort to hide the gun, but it was easily found in his home when the police made their search. All right, and before you sit down, I'll take those off. Just face this wall. Right here. You all right, bro? Yes, sir. You, doing you need right? water or anything? No, sir. I'm all right. All right. You need anything? Just knock on this door, right? All right. Gentleman that's coming to talk, he's coming from uh, a little bit away. He'll be here shortly, all right? Can I get a phone call? Because I was supposed to be at work, man. I was, and I ain't about to call out or nothing. Are you arrested? Did they said I'm detained. What's he got going? He's got a 99. He's got a warrant? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I can't give you a phone call right this minute, but as soon as you get over there and get processed, so what, am I arrested now? It appears that it might have a warrant for your arrest. Well, let me. Let me double check. Have a seat right there in that gray chair. Let me uh, check on everything for you, and Damn, I'll let you know. I'll let, I'll come back here within the next few minutes and let you know what's going on. All right. I'll look into. I'll, I'll pull up that number and I'll, I'll call them. Is there somebody that we need to call and talk to and let them know that? At least my mom, man. All right. Because she could tell my sister works at cool. the same job. So you know her number by heart. Yeah. That's her number. Four. Uh -huh. Give me a sec, bro. I'll be right back. With you. Appreciate right. you, man. No problem. Jerry, yes, sir. I called your mom. What she's you aware. Say? She says she can make notification for you. And as soon as that detective's here, he'll, he'll chat with you, so, okay? I, I have no idea, brother. I'm just here in the office working a late shift. Mm -hmm. And uh, they called us and asked if we could uh, sit in here until he gets here. It shouldn't no. be very long. Oh, shit. I ain't got no say so, shit. I have, I have no idea. Damn. All right. All right, brother. So they say I'm arrested now? There is a warrant for your arrest. I haven't looked into it because it's not my case, so I don't know anything about it. I just know that your name is Jerry. Yeah. All right. Um, he'll be here. He can explain everything to you. I don't know anything about it. We work in six different teams, and he's not on my team, so I have no idea. Okay. And he's gonna be a good little minute, you said. It'd be probably probably about a half an hour. Ain't no way I can get a cigarette home. No, you can't do that. He might be able to help you when he gets here, but I can't do that, okay? That's fine. All right. Jerry? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. All right. What's up, man? <laughs> the other guy who was in here a few minutes ago. Yeah, we got wires crossed. The other, uh, did another detective already come in here? No. I okay, know. okay. So somebody, we got somebody in that room that they're talking to, and they came in here. I thought they came in here. So anyway, I apologize. Hey, Detective Reeves. Yes. How are you? Um, this is my partner. How are you, man? Nice to meet you. Hey. Um, so you've been talking with Detective Levin about the, the incident that took place? Yes. Okay, so, and I want to go over some of that. And he had talked to me about your guns and all that, and getting stuff back and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I want to go over some of that stuff. I, and I just kind of throw some of the stuff together that he had for me, so I apologize. I'm not the most organized honest, guy. Straightforward. Yes. I care about my life. I need to know what's going on. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, and I want to ask you a couple of questions, yeah. too, but I can't... Am I arrested? Well, let me, before I, because I don't want to, I don't want to ask you questions and you answer me questions. Let me let, at least, at least get started yeah. on what we need to. I know you can okay. do what you Yeah, so let's do this and then let's talk. And then I can answer anything you've got and if you can hopefully try to answer... Um, what I got? What is that? That's funny. That's funny. Okay, so 
Today is, again, I just grabbed his stuff, so I'm trying to... Hinshaw has been deliberately kept waiting in the hope of breaking him down enough to talk. The detective is cheerful and friendly, as if this matter will be cleared up quickly. The 16th. The 16th, August the 16th. August the 16th, 2019. Um, I put that in the wrong place. See, I'm just grabbing stuff tonight. Um, I was trying to be home. Um, we're at the Police Memorial Building. You know where we are? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Um, building or the PMB. Okay, and it is 6.40 p.m. Supposed to be at work. You're supposed to be at work? Yeah, oh, yeah. Where are you working? Harper Ah, okay. Over there in Riverside. Yes, mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's try to make this fast. Then. Jerry Lane... L-A-N-E-H-I-N-S-H-A-W. A Hinshaw. And you're the third or junior, I mean? Junior. Okay, that's what you told me. What's your address? 5214. Yes, sir. Woodcrest Road. Woodcrest Road. Okay, and what's your date of birth? 7596. 7596. How tall are you about? 5'7". Okay, and what do you weigh? Oh, 120. 120. Um, Not even probably. You got blonde hair. And what color eyes you got? Blue. And do you know your social? Yeah. What's that for you? 904. I think you probably already gave it to detective. Okay. You're a white male. And how old are you? Uh, 23. 23. Can you read? Yeah. Yes. And can you write? Yeah. And, and I always feel bad asking somebody because I'm not trying to be offensive. It's just part of the deal. And what's the highest level of education you completed? Uh, I went to trade school. I got my high school diploma in the trade. Okay, so high school diploma. Where'd you go? Uh, it's called Jamesville, uh, Gainesville Job Corps. Okay, very cool. Good for you. Are you currently taking any drugs or alcohol? Nope. No drugs, no alcohol. Okay, all right. So I want to. We'll go over. You're right. I'm going to read them. Would you just do me a favor? I know you said you can read and write. Will you read that first line to me out loud? You do not have to make statements or say. No, no, I'm sorry. This one right here. Oh. Yeah, where the arrow is. Sorry. You had the following rights. You decide that you understand them. That's all that's saying. You got all kinds of things. Where do you get your uh, stuff done? Uh, born Artful, right there on Cassett. And what is that? Like, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Okay. All right. Um, I'll sign that you went over those rights. Um, okay, very cool. So, you live on the... 5214. And that's the west side of town? Yes, okay. And where, where about is that? Uh, right there off of Cassidy. Um, right by the Ernie Palmer Toyota. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I know exactly where that is. Okay, very cool. Um, so, you're... They, you, there was a shooting that happened at your house, yes, sir. right? Okay, and your house was shot, um, and I don't know a lot about it, so I'm not trying to get into all that. But uh, during the course of that um, investigation, the uh, detective Levitt said they uh, they uh, searched, they mm -hmm. got, I, I think they got maybe some projectiles or something out of the, the wall. Wall, out of the wall, and it was it shot into the house. Yeah, uh, one went through my window and hit the refrigerator. And, and, and somebody got hit. Two girls. Two girls got hit. They, but they're obviously living, thankfully. Critical. Critical? Oh, they're in crisis. Critical. Oh, I think, but stable or something like that. Okay, and is she relationship to you? Oh, uh, not really. I just knew her from a buddy of mine that was staying with me at the time. Okay, okay. Uh, what was her name? Let me turn this down. Sorry. I think Alexis or something Alexis? Like I'm not too okay. sure now. Not... Girlfriend. Man, no. Okay. Well, I wasn't trying to offend you. I was just asking. Um, now. I go crazy. That was my old lady. Oh yeah. What? Because of the shooting. She got shot in the head. I had to wrap the bandage over her head. Yeah. He said you wrap. were trying to help her, and that happened like when you guys were standing outside. I had a baby in my arms. <laughs> Who's ba your baby? Henshaw quickly paints himself as an innocent bystander. But witnesses say otherwise. I recently released another exclusive Patreon video exposing a chilling incident where a man unleashed his rage by committing a shocking act of violence against an innocent 15-year-old. This heart-wrenching video shows interrogation of Cody, the man behind this horrible crime. Watch the full video and more at patreon.com 
slash Stranger Stories Plus. No, my okay. buddy that was staying with me. Okay. His one year old. Holy crap, dude. And the baby wasn't hit? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's good. You know, let's be thankful for that. And the other girl that was out there, you said two people, two girls? Yeah, it was two girls. And they're both in critical conditions? No, just one. Okay. Um, and and um, you're, neither one of those were your girlfriends? No. Okay, just, just friends who were staying over there of the, the guy who was staying there with yes, you. Um, well, that's good. Has anything ever like that ever happened? Have you ever been shot before or shot at before? No, I came home one time and found my roommate dead, though. In that house? Yeah. There's like some curse on that house? I guess so. How long ago did that happen? Probably about three years ago, I want to say. What happened? Or do you know? I came home and found my buddy shot in the face. Oh, he was shot? Oh, I was thinking maybe like an overdose or something. No. Nah. In the house. This is quite a violent location, but it is too frequent to be coincidental. So there was a homicide that happened in the house. Yeah. Holy cow! What was his name? Uh, Julia George. I don't, I don't think I've never heard that one. A couple years back, Dad Gum. So when you were out out there that night, and um, so p- the people pull up and shoot at you all. Shoot! They shot up at the car. Okay. Were you in the car? No, I was standing outside with the baby in my arms. Okay, so you're in standing, the driveway. Right, right. You're holding the baby, and so people shoot at you. A couple. Um, they were following the girls in the car. Oh, and you had you been in the car? No. Okay, yeah, so no. okay, so you were just at the house. You were at your house. Yeah, I was at my house. Okay, gotcha. You're at your house hanging out. They pull up, mm-hmm. and you came outside. Yes, sir. And then they they shot at the the, uh, the girls. Car. The girls yeah, that were in the car. The, the Do you car think they were there. shooting at people that were? in that car or do you think it was just random or you don't know i don't know. probably don't know have you ever been shot at before no sir never i mean like deployed in the army i know you're 23 so you probably had more in the military i wish it. yeah well um and you weren't even home when your um when your friend a few years ago got shot no i came home from i came home from work he was there and then i went to best bet in orange park Oh, what's that? Like um, a Best Buy? Kind like, of? kind of like gambling. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I know Sean. And no. I came home, the door was open, and he was laying right there at the door. So was that, was like a robbery or uh, something like that? And my whole house was around that. Uh, holy cow. And he was shot. Was he staying, he had been staying with you? Or you yeah. were staying with him? We were both staying together. We were okay. out of um, two different rooms in the house. In that house? Yeah. Who lives we with knew you? each other. Who lives with you now there? My dad. Okay, your dad. Um... Junior, so you're that's Jerry Henshaw senior. senior? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Um, so that's crazy, man. You've been are those the only two? Well, the fly, yeah. What are you? What, what, what are you doing, man? I'm not accusing <laughs> you, man. Curse, man. I'm just saying, maybe it's a house. Have you ever been anywhere else where people have shot at you? Hell no, okay. No, not thing. just walking around the road or out someplace and somebody pulls I out a gun. Headed to work, man. Yeah. No, I don't mean today. I just mean in general. Uh, no, I'm just saying, you know what I mean? I'm, I yeah. like to work, come home, stay to myself. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, and how long have you been working at Harpoon Lewis? I just started uh, this a month ago, but okay. I was working at BMW Navajo Warehouse. Oh, where is that? Off of Preacher. Okay, okay. Only thing I know, there's like a UPS out there. Yeah. Okay. It's in that same industrial Same in there. Yeah, because that's where that is out there, like a big industrial park out there okay um so they they processed the scene i think they got he said they got several shell casings and i don't know what they are because i don't know exactly i'm just kind of filling in some and they got uh some projectiles that do you know did it go through the house one did one went through i know they got the car yeah. but it went through the house yeah did it hit anybody inside the house no sir okay and they collected um i want to be able to give get your stuff back to you so they collected guns um, and I've got the property card sheet, so I want to make sure I've got which ones are your guns, and we can get a signature form so I can get those guns released to you. And do you know what kind of guns you had? Uh, to be honest, my buddy was staying with me too. Yeah. And he was living in the living room, so his stuff was in my room. We had stuff all together. Okay. Clothes and all together. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't. And I don't know about the clothes. Whatever was there, you know, there's um, there's different stuff. Cause I know they want to get, but I was just going through, like the guns. Yeah, so I can get. Yeah, it's gun though. Is, uh, I need to make sure that gets back to them. What gun's that? 
Okay, so this is your stepdad's gun? No, in Gilmore. Okay, and this is all, what he said is everything from the crime scene detective who collected everything. I want to make sure. So there's a 12-gauge shotgun, mm -hmm. uh, some other kind of rifle. Rifle. Okay, uh, AR-15 style rifle. Yeah. Okay, and I circled the one. There's a 22 caliber revolver. Yeah, I guess. Okay, all right. Um, a... Uh, 357 revolver. That's my dad's. Your dad's gun is this one? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, 380 auto uh, pistol with magazine. I don't even know about that, son. Okay, so it's a Smith & Wesson. Bodyguard? You don't know. I couldn't tell you. Okay, so I can't release that one to you because you're not sure. Okay, so unknown on this one. Um, but you do know that the shotgun, the yeah. rifle, 22 caliber. I don't know about the 22. And what's the 22? That's yours? No, I don't know what. Oh, you don't know this one either? I don't know that one. Okay, so unknown on the 22. So you know about the 12 gauge shotgun? Yeah, that's my stepdad. Okay, stepdad. What's his name? Melvin Gilmore. Henshaw claims he doesn't know who the weapon belonged to, but it is clear that he has access even if it wasn't his. Milton Gilmore? M I L T. Uh huh. O N. Okay. Gilmore. G I L M O R E. Okay. Milton Gilmore. Uh, the other rifle, the DPMS. Yeah, I knew about that one. And whose is that? That was me and my buddies sharing it. Okay, so I can release that to you, Jerry. And the 357 revolver. That's my dad's own. Yeah, I have to talk to him. Okay, so you do you? Um, all right, so let me ask you this. Going back on it. Do you ever have? Try, do you, you ever have this one? It's in my room. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the the twelve gauge shotguns in your room. Yes, sir. Uh, this rifle. Does this one in your room? I'm trying to it figure was. out what's the best one. Okay. All right. Well, that's easy then. And this one, you don't know. You said unknown. This one. It should have been in my dad's room. The this one would be in your dad's room. You yes, think? Sir. Okay. No, I and know because he this sleeps one. with it. Your dad sleeps with this yeah, guy. Yeah. Okay. And then this one. Oh shit! I couldn't tell you about that. And this. Oh, you said you don't know. Okay. All right. All right. So I can look on that. I show pictures. Maybe that would help. Um, you printed off pictures for me. What a gun! Yeah. That's my dad. And what kind is that? Do you know? I can't tell. Thing. Whatever it said. What was it saying? Three fifty-seven. Uh, this is the three fifty-seven. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm guessing. Or either that's the twenty-two. Well, I'm guessing that's the twenty-two, though. I don't know. You've seen them before. I've never seen them. I didn't know what that was right on. This is your dad's. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's the AR. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And I guess that's the other rifle. That's my stepdad. And that's some kind of. Oh, that's a shotgun. Yeah. Okay. What's that one? That was the girl. That was in her name. This that's, is the girl. Is that the 380? Yeah, that looks like a 380. So you think that's the girl's? Yeah. That's What's her name? Oh, I couldn't tell you. Well, she's one of the people that got shot? Yeah. Okay, so. She, it should have been in her name. The oh. police said it was in her name. But it may be. But that doesn't mean. I, it yeah, could be on their report. Yeah, I don't know why. No, 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 no. It, it just says. It may be in the report. This is just yeah, a property sheet. I think because when they brought me down here uh -huh. to talk about what happened, right. the police officer was putting it in his trunk. Okay. Well, it's in the property room now, so. And what's this one? Is that that one? Yeah. 357? Okay. All right. I'll get upstairs. I'll get it back to them. Okay. All right. Who... And who, who, you said your stepdad, or your dad stays with you yes, over sir. there? Does your stepdad stay over there? No, that's his house. Whose house? My stepdad's. All right, I'm confused. Okay, so my your step, step... Yeah, my stepdad, he rents out the house. Your stepdad? Yeah. Okay, I got and it. And every All now right. and then, you know, sometimes I need help. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Things get tough. Sure. And the house ain't rented out. Right. I'll stay there. You'll stay there. Yeah. And your bio dad stays there. Yeah, right now he does. Right, right. So when you were saying dad and stepdad, two different people. Two different. Got it. Milton, Milton and Jerry. Jerry Senior. Jerry is my dad. I got it. 
I, I'm, I'm, I'm slow, but I'll, I'll eventually get there. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, so I'll do the forms for you to get back over there. All right, so that'll. I think that clears up that. And I also wanted to. So do you? Okay, do you ever have in your possession? You're not a convicted felon, because uh, and I already know because that was one of the things he told me. So do you? Um, do you have? Do you have these guns ever? Well, not that one because that's hers. Shotgun. And I had that before. Okay. You ever gone? You ever have the other guns anywhere? The night the girl got shot. Yeah. My dad was running around, and he thought the car was gonna come back. Mm -hmm. I told him just get inside, grab the gun from him, and I put it back in the holster. Which gun? Oh, this one with the holster. Okay. So let me ask you this, because part of what they're gonna do with the processing is. Um, They'll swab all the guns, um, just because they want to make sure. This is a standard procedure even civilians know will occur when guns are involved. Henshaw admits to having several guns in order to distract them from looking for others. That they weren't involved. That's just standard practice. Everybody does that. So your um, either prints or DNA is going to be on this gun? Yeah. Okay. So you'll have your, your stuff on this gun. And you're saying that's the, the only time... That you had. When have you have you ever had any of these other guns at any other time other than that night? This one, a little boy had in the apartment. My whole boy took it from, him and it was just been at my house. This and, one. Yeah, and if it's sitting out where I don't want it, I'll move it. Okay. But it's not mine. Okay. Not yours, as in registered to you. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I don't. I don't think anybody, you don't even have to register. Yeah. You unless get you go to the cell. Right. Yeah, yeah. You did that. So, okay. All right. So, you lived on the west side your whole life? Yeah. Okay. Out there. All right. And you already said that's not hers. All right. So, I wanted to. Have you. So, you've been out there for a while. Yeah. You know that area of town um, your whole life. I'm going to ask you about a couple guys that I'm trying to identify. You ever seen. Any of those guys? I know him. You do know him? Yeah, What's his name? That's my friend. Um, that was staying with me. That's his cousin, Carlos. This is Carlos? Yes. Yeah. I don't know anybody. I don't know. You know. These guys all hang together. That's Carlos. You I mean, know Carlos? They trouble. They, uh, not, not with me. Oh. No. But I'm just... I'm in trouble with you. No, not with me. Um... Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to sort out some stuff. Okay, so this guy, do you know him? Have you ever seen him before? I think I seen him and Carlos. Um, they hang around so so many boys at a time in London Town. But do you hang out in London Town? No. Not anymore. Hell no. Okay. I would never hang out in London Town. You don't. Well, yes, yeah, changed a couple names. Okay. Um, do you know where this is? There's a very isolated cemetery on the west side off of Old Middleburg Road. Here is, so like this is 95, Old Middleburg comes down here and then it comes up. Then this is a, it's a very isolated cemetery that's off over there. You know where that is? This is, okay, here. This is a map right here. I printed this one out to show you. Um, or to show anybody that I can try to. Here's Wiley, Old Middleburg Road. It goes, um, you know, across 295. And then you would, um, you would turn down this road here to try to get, to get back there. There's a lake over there. You can see it from 295. There's a church right here. And, it, I mean, it's very, very isolated over here. I have no idea about the cemetery, but I know there's a little farm right there. When you go over the overpass, a farm, like a, yeah, it looks like a farm. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Okay, I don't like know. if you coming from her lawn per se, and you go over like past yeah, 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 right. You got some little. So her lawn would be like right here. It's the next one up. So if you came down like West Side Baptist Church is here, you came down her lawn, Middleburg over there. 
Do you know? Have you been? Have you ever been to the never cemetery? Been there. You never been to the cemetery, no, sir. Anytime, ever, no, sir. in the last year. No. Nope. Does this look familiar at all to you? No. Nope. Nowhere. Looks like all the same. It is. Yeah, yeah. Just different angles. Because sometimes people are, you know, look at it differently in the in the light when you take pictures. That's at night time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you never been out here? No. Okay. So I'm. I'm working um, a homicide that occurred um, here at this cemetery mm -hmm. in February, okay, back on the 5th of, uh, of February this year, where this kid here, this, this guy, I'm hearing that he does all kinds of stuff. He's into dope. And he tries to rob people, break into houses, all Both kinds of them kids are crazy. All whoever hangs out with Carlo, this that, guy, that's their image right there. This that's is all right. they post. Okay, so you know who Carlos is, yeah. And you, but you you never seen this guy? No. Has this guy, this guy, did he, has he ever tried? Uh, to probably because it doesn't cross creek, but I don't remember him. Like, this is cross creek. Talk to him, or right, right, like that. So would this guy have ever contacted you? I mean, probably through Carlos, but we haven't like talked, talked. Okay. Has what has he ever reached out to you in any way at all through somebody to try to meet with you? To has this guy here ever tried to rob you? No. Okay. So this has, this guy's never tried to rob you. Has this guy ever tried to? Yeah, he ain't did nothing to me. <laughs> this guy has he ever tried to? Use a yeah, gun on you? Yeah, he never did nothing to me, man. Never tried to shoot you, never tried to jack you. Hinshaw gives a rapid succession of lies, denying that he knows the victim or has ever been to the cemetery. Multiple witnesses can disprove this. No, nothing at all. No, sir. You're sure? I'm sure. Because I'm trying to find out, that's, that's just what I'm hearing. And I guess and that is the boy, though, that he always saying, rest in peace. Who's saying that? Well, I think I've seen him post it before, mm -hmm. but I don't really for taking the IG stuff like that. What's the IG? What do you mean? Instagram. Oh, my bad. Yeah, oh. yeah. I'm old. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I was trying to hear I, You got to, I don't know, man. Okay. I'm still I, living in always, a mice debased world. I mean, they he always posts group pictures like that. This guy does? Carlos? Yeah. When's the last time you saw Carlos? We removed a breaker, so about a month ago. Okay, where'd you see him at? Oh, his apartment complex, right there in Ricker. Okay. Um, where is that? Right there by the Walgreens and Publix. Publix on? Oh yeah, 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 hundred and third. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about the other end, like, like by no, no. Wilson and all that, but straight. Uh, south of that, like 103rd. Okay. Yeah, so these dudes are, are you know, potential. I mean, I, I, I'm i not posting. So what are they saying? That he's pictures. He's always robbing people. I mean, I, I know his dirt. This guy, Carlos? Yeah. He's on the same type of time, I guess you're saying he is. Yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to put words. I'm just trying to, I want, these guys, these guys what I'm hearing is that that's what, that's what happened. And I'm just trying to get you your that? side. That's why I wanted to talk to you because Levitt, you know, was working on the on the stuff. And I said, man, I think because I've been trying to um, talk to a couple people that my are out there. And he, what, what's that? On my side about what though? About this guy here, if he ever tried to rob you? Oh hell no, man. He never, never pulled a gun on you, mm -hmm. shot at you. Have you ever? And you said the only time anybody's ever shot in your area was the other night. The other night. You've never been shot? No, sir. Well, have you ever been shot at? No. Nope. Okay, this dude here has never shot at you? No, sir. Has, and he never pulled a gun on you? No. Nope. And tried to kill you? No. Nope. I'm just saying, if somebody tried to pull a gun on me, I mean, I know what you what you got to do. Yeah. Um, but this kid here, Little Red, you heard that name? That's what he says on IG. Yeah, that's it. That's this guy, Little Red. Marquis Smith? I don't know his real name. Okay. I didn't even know Little Red was his nickname. You didn't. And you don't think you've ever seen him before? 
I mean, I probably I mean maybe him seen him with them. Right. But never seen him in the fact that this dude tried to jack you. No. Okay. Never happened. You never saw, and you've never been out to this cemetery. Mm -hmm. So this guy, so the people that are telling me that you were out here minding your own business, and this dude tries to jack you out here, that ain't never right? been out there, man. You've never been here? No. Okay. So I think they got, like on all this, okay, so you're, but I need you to be 100% honest with me. And I'm not saying you're not, but I need you to be 100% honest I because mean, you, we're talking about my life here. You're right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't get what you're talking about. Well, I, I'm just, I'm being completely straight with you, okay? I'm trying to find out if this guy ever tried to rob you or shoot oh, at you. Just talking about I'm this sorry, guy. this guy, upside down. I'm sorry. This guy. I'll circle him so I don't mess up, which is this guy. This guy. Never I did. I just know through Carlos. Man. Okay, gotcha. When's the last time you saw this guy? Maybe with Carlos. Okay. I couldn't tell you. Okay. Well, not since then, because he's dead. He was shot and killed multiple times at this cemetery. Oh, I know he did, because Carlos always says... Posting about it? Yeah. Okay. But I didn't know about how he got killed or anything. Okay. But right. I did hear that he used to rob a lot of people. Yeah. Oh, that's everywhere. Everybody knows that. He's got a long criminal history, so you can look all that stuff up. Okay, so, well, all right. Let me grab one more thing. I'll be right back. You want some water or anything? Can I use the bathroom? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. And then I'll really honestly have a couple more questions when we're done. Because I just got to, I want to grab one more thing off my desk. The detective has gotten Henshaw to lie repeatedly about knowing Smith, proving he has something to hide. An informant has stated that Smith has previously stolen drugs from Hinshaw. And, um, yeah, you bet. Yeah, it works. Oh, well, are you the only person I'm talking to? Yeah. Unless you've got somebody else oh, I'm talking to. I'm just, I wondering because I had so many guys well, earlier, they're, they're, so I was lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, those guys were... So we'll run to the restroom and we'll come right back. Your phone's ringing, man. Jesus. Your phone's ringing. Last time? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. It's probably mine, yeah. It's probably my wife going, are you ever going to come home? No, the answer is no. Never. Yes, just a few minutes actually. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you want it or not. Before we finish, a couple things. All right, your phone number. Um, you gave me. How long have you had that phone number? Six months, a year, a week. I got different long goals, huh? Do you? Yeah. Okay. Um, why do you have different phones? Always break them. Well, but you keep the same number. And then I have a girlfriend, and I <laughs> get on airplane, and yeah. So your numbers change? Yeah. Okay. Um. So. You don't know how long you've had that phone number. No. Okay. No idea. So I will. Um, we'll. We'll. I'll, I'll pull your. Um, well, no. They've already. The, um, Detective Levitt was already working on all the um, cell phone stuff because that's just part of the investigation too, is to find out where people have been because all they're all all the cell phones say that. Mm -hmm. um, any of the past numbers that you have, which now they they'll just throw out a net. Will they? Will they? Will the, any of those phone numbers put you at the cemetery? No. No. Okay. No phone number's going to put you out I don't there. know why you're trying to put me in this position, man. I'm you're not. with my life. I, I promise you, I'm not. Here, you got me terrified right now because you don't even know who you got to get me mixed up with. You got me snatched up from the streets like I did something. Henshaw is trying to deflect their questions while at the same time fishing for information about why they chose to bring him in for questioning. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty serious. Yeah. And so and, and that's here, why I'm saying that's why I'm trying to give you a chance to talk to me. So and and here's where we are with this. Mm -hmm. So this I I'm tr I've been I can't put any words in your mouth because yeah. I don't want to do that cuz I don't want to speak for you and legally I can't tell you yeah. what to say. I would never even remotely do that with anyone. I can't do that. 
I've been trying to give you, afford you the opportunity to tell me the truth. The That's truth it. The truth about what? The truth about this. I didn't have nothing to do with that, and you need to stop putting that on my name, man. Uh, it's just you and I in here. Why, why are you worried about your name? Because it's me and you. I'm not going out there and telling anybody. I'm not going out the street. I'm asking to you. To kill somebody. Uh, I'm trying to say. Were you? At, I'm trying to ask you about this because here's what here's my concern. Okay. This. My cell phone ain't gonna go to it. No, okay. None of that. Nothing will ever come back that will put you here in the cemetery. No sir. And this kid trying to rob you. Okay. I don't even hang out with him. Okay. Okay. So what I'm saying is. If anything ever does, I don't get a chance to come back and talk to you again. Yes, this is my chance and your chance. All I do, really, only, honestly, in my job, all I do is I, um, I just find facts. Yeah. Uh, I, wherever the facts are, wherever they lead me to, I find the facts. That's it. I talk to people. Um, there's a lot of things forensically that happen that you can't uh, manufacture, you can't make up, you can't, um, you, you can't enhance. They just are what they are. And so what I do, I try to get ahead of all of that stuff and talk to people and give the people the, uh, afford the people the opportunity that I would want somebody to give me their side of what happened. There is no side to my story. Bro. Okay. There's do no you, story for me. Do this. you know why then, and I'll just ask you this, and then and if you want to rethink and tell me something, that's fine. If not, then there's really nothing else for me to ask you. Can you tell me why you're... Your gun. What gun? The three fifty seven. It's not mine. Okay. Do you think your dad killed this guy? No. Okay. All right. Can you tell me why then? You give, just give me anything. Give me an explanation. That gun killed this guy. Uh, there is no doubt. There, it, it's it's at a hundred percent. It's a provable. Commodity. I, I, I understand. So that gun that's in your house, that's in your possession, that's not in my possession. That killed in your house. That that three fifty seven revolver that's in your house and that's kills house this guy. Right now. What's that? It's a house that we bring out. Okay. So it's not okay. technically. So my house. what we're gonna do is, and we're gonna find that. All of that is, I'm gonna find who's at that house okay. on this day that killed this kid at this cemetery. That's easy. That is that is like the easiest thing that I do. And so are you telling me, and that's what I want to know, I, is that's why I'm asking you. I'm not trying to pin anything on you. I'm trying to ask you for an explanation because I don't know. I, I don't know this kid, you know, being mean to you, bullying you. You're saying you don't, you've seen him, but you don't know him. No, you've no, never been here. Never been this kid never tried to rob you. This kid never, ever, ever attacked you, did anything to it. But yet your gun, your gun, my gun, Kills this dude. You're saying my gun, but it's not my gun. The gun that's in your house, the 357 that's in your house. And I always got friends that, that stay over. So you think, I, that's what I'm asking you. So are you telling me that and one I'm of your friends. I'm saying that none of my friends did nothing. Henshaw has placed himself in a difficult position. He denies having anything to do with the crime, but can offer no other reasonable suspect in his place. If he does try to pin the blame on someone else, he runs the risk of them giving the police more evidence that would solidify his guilt. Well, you are saying no you're going to have to because I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to find out who was in that house. It's a very simple procedure. We'll find out exactly who's in that house that day. I will find out everyone who's at that house. Would it would it surprise you to tell me and that I, I have a care around the 357? Never would I never even think about even going right beside my dad and taking his gun. My dad He's an elder. He don't get up out the bed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not. Say, I'm not saying your dad did it. Um, that's why I'm asking you. But would it surprise you to know that I've that in the yeah. last few months that I've already talked to several people? Okay. Would that surprise you? No. Or would, it wouldn't you said surprise a whole you. year. What, what's that? You said a whole year, right? This was February, and it's now August. So half a year, roughly six months, that I've been working at this since I got called out there that evening, mm -hmm. and that and that in doing cell phone searches and in doing uh, video surveillance and doing all the other things that yeah. we do on our end, would it surprise you that I've already come in contact with other people and they've told me what happened? Would that surprise you? Surprise me about what? About what happened. 
I don't you know. You don't what want happened. to tell me what happened? I don't know what happened. You, I mean, honestly, you, you don't know how to explain that you're at this cemetery, that I'm not this that kid cemetery. gets shot and killed with your gun? Come on now. I'm, I'm, you give me something. Give me anything. Give me anything. I haven't been ha ha minute. How did that happen? You're playing with my life right here. I'm not playing. I don't, this ain't playing. I'm not playing. Yeah, I know I, you're no, not playing. I'm not playing at all. I'm, I'm taking you. I'm just I'm I'm not I'm saying I'm like man to man. I'm asking you a question. Yeah. How does your gun, how does your 357 kill this kid? Give me, explain it. Figure out who was at the house. No, that, done. Done. What I'm telling you, when I'm saying I'm going to do those things, the reality is, is that's already been done. Okay. That's already done. We, I've already, I've already accomplished all that. Okay. I did all of that before I was ready to talk to you. That's why I didn't step to you uh, a week after this. Yeah. When I knew what was going on. But did you know that I have been watching you since February? Did you have any idea? You have no idea. You have no idea. I, I know that because I'm really, really good at my job. So I'm telling you, you don't, you can't offer any kind of an explanation as to how your gun. The gun that you say isn't yours, but it's in your house. Mine. That your dad, who is an elder, who is, doesn't move around. And, and, and I ain't did nothing. And you didn't do anything. And you didn't do that. And you can't, can you, I mean, can you even imagine how it happened? What do you mean? Like, give me something. Who took your gun and went out and did this? I couldn't tell you. I, it's not so, my gun. Who took the gun that's your father's that's in the house that you live at? And that you were living at, that you were at, my own gun. and that you were at this place, and that you went to the cemetery, and then you came back home. Okay, How did that happen? You did somebody in your house that you was staying with me, who, who was staying I'm with there. you? I'm not there. Here's a, here's a way to verify if you're telling the truth, because this I know. I have a I, I have this information on February the fifth. Who was staying in this house? It's a it's an easy way right now for you to tell the truth. Who was staying at your house? I I'll give you an easy you, day. You can tell me who was staying in your house. We'll just say the month of February. Because I know. I already have that record. Who was in your house in February? My dad. That's the only person? Yeah. That's the only person that was staying in your house. That's the only person that came and visited you, that hung out with you, that you brought back to that house. That was it. I don't get what you're trying to say. Sure you do. You, you absolutely do, because you're actually a really smart guy. Yeah, um, of course I'm smart. I, I, but I, you're, so you do understand. But you're trying to make me say something about a day that I'm not even thinking about. I, I, well, you're, you're thinking about it now, because we're sitting in a room and I'm talking to you. I, how but I gave you, I gave you the opportunity to say, not even, uh, you, you can't even, I get that. Let's don't, let's don't hold yourself to a date. I just say in the month of February, Valentine's Day. What about any time in February? Who's at your house? Just my dad. That's it. Hmm? So, because I just took him in. But it's it, when did when did he begin staying with you? Because I know this, I've already done my homework. I couldn't tell you when. I just know he went to the hospital from out of the cleaning, and then I let him move in after he was in the hospital. Hmm? Yeah, right. You what was he in the hospital for? Uh, broke his hip. Yeah. And by the way, how is he doing? He's doing all right, okay. but he just broke his other hip. <laughs> it must be the house then. So. So in we, the house. What's that? In the house. Yeah. Yeah. And did you... Um, so in the month of February, other... So somebody... Do you, do you think... I have buddies over all the time. Yeah. So do you think somebody comes into your house, takes your dad's gun, goes out to this cemetery, and shoots and kills this dude, and then brings that gun back to your house and puts it back in your house? There ain't no telling them, man. I, we, Who would do I, that? All of Henshaw's denials are falling flat as the detective chips away at his story. Who, honestly, if somebody, people get rid of guns when they kill people. Yeah. Them. Yeah, unless... So you're they, trying to say I wouldn't be smart enough to do it? No, I'm saying so I didn't you do that. Give, me, give me a reason as to why. I can think of one reason. One reason what? Yeah, I can think of a reason why that would happen. But I can't tell you what to tell me. I, I just want the truth. I want you to tell what me the truth. I haven't did nothing. Okay, so you were you've never been at this cemetery. No, bro. Never. No. You have never ever no. ever been at the cemetery. You did not in any reason. This guy did not try to jack you. He did not try to shoot at you. No. And you did not in any I don't way even carry my dad's gun. You don't even carry your dad's gun. No. That 357 has never been out of your by you out of your dad's house? No. Okay. That's it. 
That's it. Okay, so this is our this is our last time. I I'm not gonna handle Are you. you? Saying that? You're I'm trying saying to ask I'm you. lying to you. That's not yeah, right. Yeah, I, I, I am. I, I am absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I am. But I don't know why, because I, I I haven't lied to you. Okay. Okay. So there's no reason for you to change that story, ever. There's no reason for you to change the story. Not at all. There's no reason at all for you to then come back tomorrow, a week from now, a month from now, and say, okay, I was scared, Detective Reeves. Here's why I didn't want to tell you, because you're the police. Even though you're, you're super nice, you're not bullying me, you're not beating me up, you're not threatening me, but I didn't want to tell you the truth. Here's the truth. Um, all I can say is, let's figure out who's been, what's in my house, whatever day that is. Mm -hmm. That took your gun, mm -hmm. your, the gun that is your dad's gun, out of the house. You can ask my dad. I don't even touch the gun. Okay. That's not me, man. And do you know that you can tell about... So you said, correct me if I'm wrong, that the only time you ha you handled that gun was the other day? Yeah, when she got shot, my dad came out the house with his gun, and he's old. Mm -hmm. I touched the gun and put it back in the holster and put it in his bed and said, Dad, I'm calling the police. Right. Just stay in the house. That was stay it. Stay away from the windows. I'm paying your gun right here. Okay. That's, That's it. That's it. Okay. So the when when when... You find a, a mixture of DNA, old, new, young, all that kind of stuff. It's crazy stuff. You, you've crazy. seen TV. Mm -hmm. So there's not going to be anything else on there. Shouldn't be. Well, shouldn't is, it is a little different than what. Well, but you're saying new and old. Well, you new? only touched the gun the one time. New? You only touched the gun the one time. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. You didn't do this. No, I You had no this. reason to do it. And it, it wasn't that the guy was bullying you or threatening you or tried to shoot you? No, sir. No. Okay. Anything else you can think of? No. You, and you don't know about the phones. Um, but it's okay, because I do, because we've already been okay. working on those, and we'll be able to um, um, present all of the, present that information. Yeah. We have the information. We just will have to present that. Yeah. Okay. And, and no, you can't even fathom a reason that Dude. you're gone. Come on, you're not lying to me. I'm not oh, yeah, going to lie to you. Yeah. I got a life to live. I ain't got time to play. Okay. What, I, what do you mean? I, I want to go home, get to work, just like I do on a regular daily basis. Mm -hmm. So whatever helps you, helps me. Yeah, well, I would think so. Do you sell dope? I used to. Well, I know, I know. I'm talking about, I'm not the dope police. You know that. Yeah. That's not, this ain't the dope police office. You're more uh, serious it, than them. Yeah, yeah. Because if I was uh, a dope police guy, I'd have a beard and, you know, <laughs> t-shirts and skinny jeans on. That's what the dope police have. Um, but I, I don't care. I don't care. But I'm asking you, do you still, do you still dabble? Do you sell? I used to. Okay. I used to as in, not, not, not this to, minute, because no. you're here. No, I... Last week... Last month, a couple months ago. Henshaw avoids giving a straight answer about his drug use, which is as good as admitting that he is still using. This is important. It's important. Because all I that's about your working. credibility. Yeah. Because, again, what I told you I've been, because something came forward and I've been watching it. That's why I'm telling you this is important. So when I ask you a question, nine times out of ten, I already know the answer to it. Okay. Because I've been doing this a long time. And I respect that. And I appreciate that. You haven't been disrespectful in any way at all. And I hope you'll never take me as being disrespectful. No, 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 I don't. Not at all. So you, uh, so again, I know you used to. Give me a, what's the last time you think sold? Last week when rent was due. Okay, got it. Now what's typically what you sell? say anything what anything mm -hmm. you don't sell anything I know that I do what I take to get my bills paid I understand that I'm not and judging you I'm not the drug police my bills paid yep and then you don't dabble anymore yes. for a little bit till your bills are done what do you normally sell they try to say I sell heroin I ain't trying to say I'm just asking you a question just man to man heroin okay anybody mad at you Anybody, anybody, do you think make up a lie on you? I mean, you got to tell them. Uh, well, if you ask me that, if you ask me that, 
well, I'm an ass a lot of times, so there's some people that are mad at me. But for the most part, and no one's going to make making up a story that I was out at the cemetery and some I jet mean, tried to of, tried to jet me. A lot of my friends me. do right now. I'm working and hanging out by myself is because a lot of your friends ain't your friends, man. No, they're not. They're not. And You're I right. just I found did. out the other day when I had my homeboy and I had his baby, and we're getting shot at. And maybe he's got something to do with it. It's just I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I, I don't have enough on that case. Let's say this. Let's say you went out. Uh, you didn't. You did not go out to this cemetery at night, and you did not. There was nobody else out there with you, and I have not talked to anybody else. Let's just let's pretend that, okay? You, you feel you, you feel you feel me. You know where I'm going with this. No. So you, well, you, I know where you're going, but right. I don't. Okay. Do you do you don't believe me? Are you trying to say I've been there? I'm I'm saying you're telling me you weren't here. Yeah. And what if I tell you that I've talked to somebody who said you were there? Are they would those people be trying to do something to you? They got something against you? That's what I'm trying to ask you. When my phone boy Jaleel was found dead in the house, people blamed me, and I had to deal with that shit. Your name, so no, your name ain't come up on that. But no, it didn't come up to y'all, but right? Yeah, their yeah. family and all that shit. Oh, uh, you know what I mean? No. Wh why do they think you had something to do with it? Just because we were, he came from college and he had pounds of weed, and I was doing my thing, and they thought I set him up for the weed but they didn't know I was doing my stuff yeah they thought I was just after his shit mm. and I know for a fact that it was his sister that had somebody shoot up my house this last time no when Jaleel died oh okay but I wasn't staying in the house you weren't the even time. there yeah I wasn't even there nobody other than well you weren't at, so you're on this last time over off at your house on Woodcrest this last time you're inside the house, you hear the gunshots. What? Are you talking about the two girls? Yeah, or you were outside holding no, the baby. I was outside My bad. Yeah, the yeah. Man. Nobody else ever pulled out a gun on you before. No. Never. In, in the time you've been selling, no one's ever tried to jack you? I had Come a baser, on. I had a baser put a knife to me one time. Okay, well, that's a pretty big deal. You'll know when you're selling to the. Well, you won't know. I don't want Yeah, you will. You, you won't know when you're selling to the police. You, you won't do it in front of you. Yep. Well, That's you know we got new rules. Do you do the drill? Oh damn! I'm just. I, I mean, I can't tell you all of our secrets. Yeah. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? But I don't dip a dabble no more. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the police never pulled out a gun on you. No. No, I know that. Yeah, I know. And um, so there's no reason. So I'm trying to trying to find out. And you saying my dad's gun one was there? That's a hundred percent. Okay. That's a ten thousand. And here's you me tell you why. I'll, I'll, and I'll help you. I'll, I'll give you that. Really. Here's the deal on that. So the gun was um, uh, uh, analyzed mm -hmm. from the other night because that's part of our process. Yeah. Everything comes in. We analyze it just in case it was used in any other commission, and then we give everybody's guns back to them. That gun killed this dude. Well, it's one of the bullets that killed this dude. One. How many bullets were there? Well, I can't tell you that. You, you didn't have anything to do with it, right? Oh, well, you we're talking, but you're trying to say that I did so. Well, yeah, I but I, I'm just asking you why. Why what? When you shot and killed him, just why? Right, man, come on now. Don't. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I guess, and then, uh, so this is it. That's uh last time we, we had a chance to talk. Okay. I mm -hmm. ain't did that. Yeah, no, I, uh, I hear you. All right, I hear you. All right, let me get the rest of the paperwork together and... Uh, um, and see if uh, Levitt w w what he wants. Now the stuff that that's not yours. Not, and you you willing to talk to me afterwards and keep me updated because you put me in this. Yeah. And I want to know now. Well, I can't. One of the ways. I'm not saying like like I can't I'm tell you about who would do some slimy shit like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I promise you'll know. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. 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 But I just can't talk to you about an open investigation. You understand that? Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Guess. All right. So the stuff, the guns that aren't yours, I can't release those to you. Oh no! Obviously. I by, well, you gotta call my stepdad because he's worried about his shotgun. <laughs> is he? Okay. And your your stepdad is Milton. Yes, sir. But your dad 
uh, Jerry Senior is the you says the three fifty seven is his. I'll run out there. Is he at home now? Yeah. Okay. Were you at home? No, uh, I was headed to work. Oh, okay. Okay, but is he? He's at home, and he can't. What? I'm not going home. What's that? Well, I'm not going home. You're not going home. Is that where? You're no, I'm saying you're. Are you going back to the house? Yeah. I, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, gonna go. You. I'm gonna go talk to him. You're going to work. You were oh, leaving. Yeah, I'd like to go. Yeah, to yeah. Work. I got gotcha, you. Gotcha. But you think they'll give me a ride to work? Yeah. I tell they you this. They pick me up in the middle of going to work. Why not take me to work afterwards, man? Right, I got right. I got shit to support. Bills. Boldly, Henshaw tries to treat the police as a taxi service and asks them to give him a ride to work, and somehow manages to get them to agree. Okay. Dad. Support your dad. Okay. Um, I will check with them, and I know these guys are going to give you a ride. That's a promise. I'm promising you these guys will um, will take care of you. So let me see what else Detective Levitt needs to do. Okay. What's Milton's number when you get home? Three three four. Oh yeah, good call. Three nine five three. And that says twelve gauge. I think uh, sixteen. No, I'm not sure. And his three fifty seven. No, that's. Not bad. Your dad, I mean your dad. Does your dad have a phone number? Yeah, but is your dad staying there? Number. Yeah, he's at the house. Your What's dad's his phone the house? number? Yeah. Uh, nine oh four. Oh shit! He just got one of them damn. Just fine. Yeah. yeah okay. Sure. Um. Obama phone or not Obama? Obama's not around. You have to ask him when you get there. Okay. Hey, for okay. Okay. All right. All right. Let me go see if the letter needs anything. Right. Give me just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Ask about work for me, please. Work. All right. Work. I'm not sure if you're really reading it here with, with Ray right now and stuff, with Detective Reeves, but he's, I don't know a lot about the case and all that stuff. I'm just kind of helping him out and mm -hmm. all that stuff because his guys are out on another case right now and stuff. Uh, he's trying to help you out here, man. Yeah. You're, you're drowning. You're like in this, you're out here in the middle of the ocean right now drowning. And he's throwing you all the life preservers he can. He, he just can't. I can't, he can't say who no took the gun. It's not about the gun. We already know about the gun, all right? Don't worry about the gun right now, okay? It's not the gun. It's about what happened out there. What happened? I don't That's know. What, I wasn't there. Well, there's a lot of people right now that he's talked. Like I said, this happened back in February. Yeah. And he's yeah, talked to a lot of people. No telling he's what good at what he happen. does. That's why he's been here as yeah. long as he has. And I respect y'all. Exactly. And every question he's asked, he's already known the answer to. Okay. And there's a lot he hasn't asked you, and there's a lot he hasn't told you. are calling me a liar. So uh, we're not calling answer? you a liar. I'm not saying you're a liar. In spite of what he tells Henshaw, the detective is calling him a liar. They have evidence, and nothing Henshaw has said so far gives them any reason to believe he is innocent. I'm just saying you're not telling us everything. That's what he's trying to do is get well, your you side of the to score. go back to the day... Go back to that well, day. I don't what know. happened? Because they got your gun there. It's there's not people, my gun. Look, I understand. It. It's your dad's gun. But it comes and from I'm, your house. And the house I'm, would, I said, I'm not worried about the gun. Let's forget about I the gun right touched now. The gun. What we're worried about is what people are saying that happened out there. People can your say whatever. And stuff. Your involvement. And people we're trying can. to get your side of the story. There's something that. I said, did this guy rob you for you to do whatever happened and all that stuff? He's trying to, like I said, you're in this you motion. He's him. throwing you a life preserver, man. He's wanting you to grab hold of that life preserver, no. pull you up, keep yourself from drowning. He's not doing you're that. You're drowning. I'm telling you, just from what, I, from what little I've heard right here, the little bit I knew about the case, you were, you were sinking fast okay. compared to what other people are saying. Their stories make more sense than they what yours They can go when he say, she say. I mean, that, that don't, y'all gonna go off of that? We go off of everyone's story. And not only just stories, is is the evidence. Like he's saying, that, yeah. that stuff doesn't lie. That's actual yeah. stuff. That's, That's scientific that. stuff. That doesn't go away. And I'm not denying about touching away. the gun the other night once that, my house got, or the girls got shot gotcha. up and my dad had the gun. Yeah, exactly. So, like I said, he's just trying to help you out. 
Maybe by wanting your side of the story. But if that's, a, if that's if that's what you're going to stay with, that you had nothing to do with it, but you got all these people are coming and saying these other things, it's going to be their word against yours. So why is he acting like I'm like I'm about to go to work? What are y'all trying to say? I didn't. I did it. I'm not saying that. I Maybe know. other people are. Well, you all got to bring them people in and talk to them. He has already. Brother, he has already. And they can say he says she's added. Bro, I... He's just, like I said, he's just trying to help And them. I he's guarantee it's a whole bunch of kids, if I am mistaken. Because mm -hmm. look at the group he hangs around with. Mm -hmm. Why would they have some reason to fucking throw you under the bus in? No idea. I mean, he asked him. You say no. There's no reason for anyone to be throwing me in. No wheel wheels. No nothing. The only thing I can see is from said being out in cross street. You've never been before, or, or jacked, or anything like that. So from being out in cross street, and all them kids be around watching you sell drugs and want to be like you, and then when you don't be their friend, then so be it. Like I said, yeah, I'm, he, he's just trying to help you out, man. He's not trying yeah. to hem you up or anything. He, he's he's throwing you that life. That's yeah, trying and I and I would help him. out of the mix. He's I want to get be you out of the mix. the mix. Well, what you said isn't helping. What do you? Well, what you say? You, you're saying you have been there. No reason. No one's. You're trying to say I did it. That's what y'all are getting at. And I didn't do it. Y'all are yeah. looking all in the wrong places, and I don't want to talk to you hostile. Like, okay. uh, I got you. I respect that. Can we talk for hostile or anything? I just, you feel, I don't know, man. Now y'all got me worried about what's going on in my life, and I ain't even did nothing. All right. Okay. Just, like I said, I just want to come and let you know he's trying to help you out. Yes, sir. And all that stuff, trying to get your side of the story. Get through his one, but obviously there's not, not your side of the story. I didn't do, I wouldn't do nothing like that. Okay. All right, man. Like I said, he, and all them, he probably won't get another talking? opportunity to talk to you and all that stuff. That's why he want to get everything we can now. Why bro. wouldn't we if we, if I'm going to leave in here? Well, he's, he's got to go and do what he needs to do now. And also, all right. So what, what, what are y'all doing with me? Huh? huh? Just hang tight. He's, he's checking with Levitt right now, all right? Okay, so based on the information I have and the witnesses that uh, I've spoken with, you're being arrested tonight for tampering with evidence. That's what you're being arrested for tonight. So anything? How am I tampering with evidence? That's what. That's what. I the, came straight forward. I appreciate it. I appreciate you telling me the information that you told me. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, I just let you know. Being man to man. Yeah, absolutely. That's why I came to tell you that. Yeah. So you're being arrested tonight for tampering with evidence, okay, Dang. in connection with this. All right. Okay. Uh, what, why would right. I have anything? I haven't even did I, I, I haven't I, hit anything. I came How can y'all charge me with tampering when I haven't even that was the first thing I said did is that, That's the first thing I came and told you was, based on the evidence that I have, and the witnesses that I've talked to, all that will be disclosed to you. Yeah. Um, you're being arrested tonight for tampering with evidence. Just tampering with evidence. That's what you're being charged with tonight. Yes, sir. Okay. That's where you're being charged so far with tonight. Okay. These guys are going to take you next door. Can I get a cigarette? Yeah, yeah. I'll, Please. Yeah, That's I can do that. I yep, do. I can do that. Yep. Appreciate you. All right. All right. Stand up. Damn, man. What? How long Huh? I don't know the details of any of this stuff, man. Too low on the totem pole for all this nonsense. I guess Terry risked this way so it doesn't control. Damn, that's crazy. Keep going straight forward and still get fucked up. Since it is obvious that Henshaw will stick to his story, they will use the evidence they already have to proceed with an arrest. Thank you for watching. If you like this type of content and want to support the channel, there is a Patreon link in the description below. You'll be able to watch videos with zero ads and some that are too controversial for YouTube, and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Thanks again for sticking around, and I'll see you 
in the next video.